by counting the number of vibrations per second. The glass vibrates nearly 500 times a second. And this frequency is its fatal flaw. So that ping yeah. is important, because that's, that's a constant note. Yeah, it's a physical property of the actual object. How does that help us with breaking it? What we're going to do is we're going to turn the process by which we hear the note backwards. So instead of the structure vibrating we hear the note, we can actually put a vibration through the air and that will make the structure vibrate in sympathy. If you produce exactly the right note with the guitar that matches the note of the glass, then the glass will resonate. That means if you replay exactly the same note that the glass produces, you can make it vibrate in sympathy without even touching it. It's called resonance. Eventually, the glass will vibrate so much that it will shatter. So it really is as simple as that. This has a note, it's a frequency at which it likes to vibrate. But if we reverse the process, if we send the same vibrations back to it, yeah. it'll just vibrate in sympathy with yeah. us yes. until it gets carried away and breaks. So we need to match this to that. Exactly. So they're both singing the same note. Exactly right. It sounds spookily simple, I don't believe it. To produce the lethal note for the glass, we tune the guitar to exactly the same note the glass itself produced. Slow motion footage shows the glass wobbling like jelly until it can take the resonance no longer 